What's the difference between a mobile workstation and a gaming notebook? It's often in the graphics capabilities, but a lot of it is branding and the look and feel, too. The HP Omen Pro is weird in that it shares the name of HP's new line of gaming laptops, but it doesn't look like one. Be it for business or pleasure, how does it measure up? The HP Omen Pro looks beautiful. Its industrial design is striking, and it stays noticeable even weeks into usage. I love the slim, minimalistic, straight lines on the black matte metallic material. It avoids a lot of the fingerprints that other notebooks tend to attract. The Ultrabook comes in at 9.7 by 15 by 0.8 inches. To keep it as thin as it is, HP had to put the ports and vents underneath and behind the unit. This is where we ran into a few problems. During my time with the unit, I never got used to having the ports at the back. Since it's surprisingly portable, I would take it from my desk to the couch and back. Um, plugging in a cable or USB on the Omen Pro forces you to close the screen, stand up, and often lift the power cable in order to plug things in. The placement and angle of the power cable also meant that it easily became unplugged when used on anything other than a desk. And in a not very helpful move, HP software detects this as a faulty cable and pops up with a reminder that you can buy another one from HP. There is a reason why machines as thin as the MacBook Air still choose to have ports on the side. It's just more practical. Meanwhile, the grill and the edges at the bottom of the device make it a little bit uncomfortable, actually, to put directly on your lap. Um, having a cushion in between would help, but it defeats the cooling capacity on this device, which is actually pretty good. Honestly, though, these issues are not deal breakers, and overall, um, the look and feel of the device is very good. Using the Omen Pro is fast and fluid. This is thanks to its large solid-state drive. Editing photos on here is brilliant, literally, thanks to this screen on this thing, which is one of the best I've seen all year. The colors are bright and vibrant with great contrasts and crisp pixels. One issue I did run into was when editing audio. The hard drive began vibrating audibly and then actually froze the unit a couple of times. Um, the problem seems to have disappeared though, um, so hopefully it's not a prevalent issue. The battery is fairly decent. Uh, browsing and document writing gave me almost three hours on a full charge, which is more than I'm accustomed to with Ultrabooks. Doing more graphically intensive things, like gaming, is also great. My unit came with the Intel Iris Pro Graphics 5200, which is an integrated graphics card that's comparable to dedicated mid-range chips. But there are other units with NVIDIA graphics built in. This won't handle the most intensive usage, but it'll serve creative users well. Other areas that it could have improved on are the fairly shallow sounding speakers and a trackpad that isn't very sensitive along the edges. I may have spent much of the video on the device's flaws, but I really enjoyed my time with the HP Omen Pro. HP has managed to include a solid list of features in a sleek package. It's not without its flaws, but you gotta give kudos to HP for trying to bring back Portability to Ultrabooks, which is rare these days. For CDN, I'm Dave Yen. Stay tuned to our channel for more.